Welcome Swifters to this Yorkshire Grand Prix. Now, this is only 14 kilometers. This is part of the uh, Swift Classic series. It is uh, definitely very hard, uh, very short and very hard. So you have to, first of all, have a very good warm up before you attempt this because it's so short. And if your heart and everything is not uh, maximum warmed up then you cannot sustain the high power that you have to uh, sustain in the beginning now right everybody on. everybody's right got on. tactics right on. Right on. my tactic right is of course on. to go as hard as possible in the beginning max the heart rate see if i can sustain it or sustain it for as long as possible as soon as you max the heart rate you have to bring down the watts otherwise you will just burn out so that was my plan. Uh, I know Alan, and they, most of them, they don't start that hard. So that is where I'm gonna try and pull a gap so that you can see if you can then at least sustain the gap. So you mustn't, I, I must push it, but I mustn't overdo it. All right, so now I saw you. Alan is here, Kevin is here, uh, Jan is here, and me. That's the only four that I saw. Now we are 20 seconds from the start. Okay, watch the start and then you can see how high we go above our FTPs. Uh, and then you'll see the heart rate just rockets up. See, I start with an initial 500 just to get off the line very fast and then I'll just bring it down to something that I think is more sustainable like close to 350 and I'll try and keep it there until my heart rate is 160 which, is, which it is about now and then I have to bring down the watts because I don't have uh, much heart rate left to go with so I have to not push over that. Um, I wasn't that, that warmed up because my PC broke actually and I had to repair it before the race and everything like that. So, but that's my excuse, eh? not yours. Um, all right, so in any case, we were with Alan here. Yeah? Now, as you can see, Alan is 154 heart rate. He's doing a 350, 360, but he's doing a very nice cadence. 104, that's very nice cadence. He's still doing close to 400 watts. Now, you see, this is where Alan is very strong. And uh, I know they're behind me. I know everybody's behind me. So all the carrots is chasing the rabbit. But uh, I'm certain it will change. Uh, but I'm going to try and stay in front. All right. So Alan is pushing against this hill. But you see his heart rate is 161. Uh, his max is 170 something. So he's still comfortable. And he's still doing a very nice cadence, and the wattage is quite high. I saw the uh, Jan is just in front of him. So Alan and Jan is together here. This, this is now we are with Jan, he's in his green suit or green kit. And he is 156 heart rate, and he's still a youngster, so that is fine. Cadence is a little bit low, uh, so he's actually sort of grinding it out, or maybe maybe it's out of the seat, and then that will also be like that. But he's doing close to 300 watts, which is very good. Uh, 161 heart rate, so yeah, he's starting to work for it, but he's still got like I think at least 20 left. Uh, but he's doing a 4.4 watts per kilo. That's not shabby at all. And I didn't even see pain on his face when the camera had him now from the front. Alright, then we are with Alan. He's still pushing above 300. 101 is 
170 heartbeat 170 heartbeat that is close to I think he's got like eight left he doesn't have much more left eh? so he is pushing very 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 hard yeah in the race I should have looked at what kitty had on because I didn't see him come past um so he is just grinding this hill out this hill is like six seven kilometers long it's unbelievable a constant four degrees to five degrees incline there's six degrees little kicks like that but it is absolutely worth it when you go over the top okay yeah i am uh also gonna go over the hill uh as you can see I'm pushing close to 400 but this is just on the on the crest of the hill I just want to get over to get on the down uh, there the watch starts to go off heart rate is too high it's 163 I think it was 164 it's just too high so I have to bring it down and uh, while I was doing this Kevin actually caught me from behind and there he just went past I he, he was doing 360 the whole way over there and his heart rate is only 144 he's got an elephant's heart I'm certain of that still it in the Capri or somewhere uh, and then on a downhill we all caught him again because it's a nice slipstream effect and then when you get to an uphill like this you have to kick just get over this uphill as fast as you can. Less suffering. Alright, so this is Jan. And uh, it's, uh, Alan is supposed to be with him, yeah? I can't see him. But Jan is now calming down a little bit. 250, 240. He's bringing his heart rate down, his cadence is nice. So the only thing I want to see now is where is Alan? Uh, he is, uh, Jan was 88, Alan is 57, so Alan is, he left this group, he went, he went forward. So he is now in 56. 56. So he's got a black shirt with orange sleeves. Uh, his heart rate is, came down a little bit, but he's still above 340. Unbelievable, very nice. And uh, still doing a nice cadence as well. And he is around about 56 position. And now I just want to see where the other people are in, in correlation. Uh, I am 73 so I'm behind him how on earth when where did he come past unbelievable uh, I don't quite get it okay we are in 65 66 so we're in the 60s I saw Kevin is there with me But I am totally confused as to how Alan got in the 50s. But it doesn't matter. He got there. He was pushing out some serious watts. But I know he was with Jan. Jan is behind us. So that's that group just right behind us. Uh, Kevin is now in front of our group. Yeah, I see my name there and I see Kevin's name there. Now Kevin's heart rate is still low, 135s, 134s, and he's still doing 390 watts. And uh, I saw Alan. I saw Alan now in front of us. Uh, let me. 
I just saw his name. Dead. No, that's mine. Oh, I'm with Kevin now. Look at the speed we go down here. Eh? We hit at 90 kilometers per hour. And then you must power it over here. So that's a 400 watts to get over there. Now, he, uh, Jan was a little bit late on the power there. That's why the group half dropped him. And now he's got to work a bit to catch up. You must punch over the short heels. It's the fastest way, the most efficient way to get over them. So, we've got Jan here. That group right in front of them there, that they are catching now. That is me and Kevin. Then Alan is in front of us. And I seriously don't know. I have to watch this video again because I don't know how he got there. It will be interesting to see. Now Alan is here at 56. So he's hanging off the back of his group. Yeah, he's struggling to hang on there because his heart rate is in 172. They caught one person. Yeah, now your whole body wants to... Uh, he actually did deaccelerate a little bit. But you must not. You must, must keep up the pace. Keep up the pace. Because that's how you get dropped, is when you actually catch the last person and then you sort of relax a bit because you have to save yourself and then the group goes away from you. Alright, this is my group. Uh, I'm getting dropped here. A little bit, I think. I see Kevin went away from me. Uh, he was like two or three seconds in front of me. So there is gaps appearing yeah, but my heart rate was 160, so I I can see I didn't want to push over 300. I get the heart rate down, let other people do the work, and uh, I'm keeping it to 160. Get that heart rate down, not up, down. And I, I just had to close that gap, I know. And uh, the group is just there, just there. You can almost touch him, eh? And yeah, you have to make a decision. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna risk it? Are you gonna, are you gonna burn yourself? So I looked at my heart rate and I saw now 163. No, nope, not gonna risk it. Just rather hang in there. Let the other people work. If they don't work, then too bad. But don't take the front. So I'm bringing my heart rate down. Now the fitter you are, the faster this heart rate will come down. And then, of course, it's, you have more power to play with. Now, yeah, my avatar went to the front, and it shouldn't go to the front because this is an uphill. Now, everybody was slipping behind me, and they got momentum, and I don't have any momentum. So now I have to kick. You can see here, yeah, I'm kicking 360, 433, 416, 450. I'm just... I have to burn matches here just to close this gap because they had momentum. That's how important momentum is from a downhill into an uphill. Now if you look here, we are now with Jan. There I just went past on the screen on the left. I've got that red cap on and here is Jan. So their group caught me and uh, I think he's gonna go straight past me he's doing 284 290 and his heart rate is 160 161 so at least he's working for it and I should be coming into the screen there I came into the screen right on the top and uh, I've got the red cap on and now Jan and his mates, they basically come cruising past. Now we are with Alan, and Alan is in 60th. Alright, and they just lost a couple of places. And this is where actually Kevin is now with him. Uh, Kevin is right behind that camouflage. There, Kevin goes all that muscles. That's Kevin. Just went past Alan. 
Alan is still doing 340. Yeah, now a little bit less. But 300, 320. Very good. I know Alan's FTP, I think it's close, 270 or something. So he's always 10, 10, 20% above FTP. And uh, Kevin just went past and he actually opened up two seconds on Alan. Uh, one second now. Kevin is doing doing 4.2 watt per kilo to 4.5 watt per kilo Alan is doing Alan is now putting in a kick 5.3 4.6 and I saw some other watch there and I lost visual so Alan was kicking it over the top of his heel very important to do uh, Kevin is doing 400 427 watts now we are with Jan now, uh, he, Jan went up this hill quite fast. You'll see uh, there's a couple of seconds up the road is Alan. I am like three seconds behind him. But I'm a bit cooked. I see Jan is also 169 was his heart rate there. Eh? It's 170 about. And now he's also looking for some recovery. And uh, let's just make sure who's where. Uh, I know I am three seconds behind. I'm basically also just recovering. There's actually two guys coming up from from the rear that I actually want uh, to use a bit because I'm all alone. And uh, there's Alan 14 seconds ahead. I just saw that. Now this little group here of Jan they are, they are motoring because I was pushing above 300 for some time now and I, I couldn't close the gap so they're really moving now here I am I used these two guys a bit uh, that group in front there, there there's, that is Jan so it's so near but yet so far So, this little kick here, yeah. just punch it a bit, go over the top. Now, I was quite surprised to see on the video here, yeah, my bicycle is orange because it's supposed to be green. So, the whole time I was riding on the wrong bicycle. Oh, it's terrible. And uh, we came up here, working nicely. I want to pull the group a bit so that I can work with me now Alan is still uh, two seconds only two seconds in front of Jan so Jan is closing down Alan down very fast okay let's see there comes Jan hello Alan bye Alan and he left Alan was sitting there wondering what is wrong with his bicycle. This damn thing doesn't want to go. Luckily, he can't see the guy next to him because that guy's camera. Can't see him and the guy behind him. So Alan thinks he's all alone. Looks like Army is in. Alan is in Vietnam. He's all surrounded. All right. Any case, there goes Jan. But he's pulling out the second from from Alan yeah, I still haven't I haven't seen when Alan came past me I don't know where it was would like to know but now Alan is sticking to Jan together and this little chasing group that's me so I'm in this chasing group behind them And all I can smell is carrots. Now Kevin is off the front, he's gone. Now we've got a nice little group here. And this is what basically 
assisted now in getting the two groups together again. Now we all big one one big group. It is now me, Alan, and Jan. We're all in this group. So what I have to do is get rid of that 160 at my beats per minute. It's very important. But it's so near the end because this is 12.3, so it's 1 point, 1 point something kilometers left. Now I know this course, uh, we're going to turn to right here, which is an uphill. And people normally blow the, uh, I'll give you some tips here. People normally use the power-ups here. You should not use your power-up here. Especially if you've got a nice power-up, you don't use it here. Because you're going to go left, you're going to go down, then you have a little kick on the straight to the finish line. So that kick is very important to use your power-up. So let's just see who does what. Uh, Jan is now for the first time 172 heart rate. So we know he's working. 172 heart rate. Uh, Alan is also on 4.4 watts per kilogram. He is 168 heart rate. Now we're gonna go in front there, you go left, little straight, and then that right is that kick where you must use your uh, power up if you have got a power up. I unluckily don't have any. But now you take this corner, you already make power before this, and when you hit it here, here by that arrow, you must use your power up and then just smash it over here. Now you can see I'm doing 411, I saw Alan was doing 450, I'm doing 450, 490, because it's very important to go over here. Now that red, red cap is me, right in front of me, that's Alan, on the green socks, that is going to the front there. Now I'm catching him again, then right in front of him, that green shirt, that is Jan. Now Jan is his green shirt, right in front of this red cap, which is me. I actually did not know who's who, because what I should have done is I should have gone with Jan. You see, he did a 700, 717 watt sprint. That was amazing. I could only do like 500. I saw Alan was on 500. And, uh, and, and, and yeah, Jan finished it on a 500. Very, very, very well done. Nice effort, great effort, well done. Everybody did very well. Thank you. Let's do the next one.